Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope we're all having a great day today and we're all doing well. So yesterday was the launch of the PlayStation 5 in Europe and I actually managed to get a pre-order back in September so I didn't really have the stress of trying to get one on launch day yesterday which um, I guess I'm very lucky for and everything. Uh, all I had to do was just go to my store, pick it up and uh, yeah, I have my PS5 now. Um, first impressions, the thing is massive. I've currently got it on uh, horizontal mode purely because I just don't want a lot of pressure on a part of the table and uh, it does take up quite a lot of space but it does look pretty cool. Um, I've been playing a lot of games, I've been playing Miles Morales, I've been playing Watch Dogs Legion, uh, Cold War on it and everything. Um, the thing is pretty silent, I've not even heard the fan you know, go that high in it. Uh, you know, and I've been playing the PS5 versions of those games as well and everything, so uh, a massive improvement from the PS4. The new DualSense controller feels amazing. Uh, the new trigger, the haptic triggers, are extremely fun to use. And when you're shooting weapons and everything, the way they react, the way uh, you're swinging in Spider-Man, uh, they get harder the longer you swing and everything. It's, so, it's a really cool controller and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with the PS5. And now Ubisoft has actually already confirmed that they are going to be uh, releasing an upgrade for Rainbow Six Siege on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. And so uh, a lot of people may have went on their PS5s and everything and, you know, thought, oh, we're going to, you know, get this better version of Rainbow Six Siege and everything. Um, they did say that it's going to run at 120 frames of 4K quality. And uh, some people might have went on to their PlayStation 5 and thought, you know why is this why is this not really like that and um, I actually done some testing of myself uh, currently at the main menu I had around 59 frames per second and when you actually went into a public match um, it was capped at 60 FPS still and now if you actually do go into terrorist hunts you do actually reach 120 150 frames and stuff like that it's very good it's very cool and um, yeah that's pretty cool for next gen this is what we've been promised but, and, uh, and then you go into, you know, an online match and you're still capped at 60 frames per second. And there's a lot of people, you know, a bit confused about this. So I kind of want to make this video to kind of clarify why that's happening and what's coming in the future. So the reason why when you actually go into an online match on your PS5, the reason why it's still capped at 60 FPS is because you're actually still playing the PS4 version of the game. Ubisoft have announced that they are releasing a PS5 free upgrade version of the game, so if you have the PS4 version, you'll be able to get the PS5 version completely free. All you have to do is go on the home screen, right click on the games icon and there'll be a version that says choose versions of games and there will be a PS5 version that will come out. Now this most likely will require you just to re-download the game again so you'll probably have to delete Siege and then reinstall it but on the PS5 version uh, but we actually don't know when that is going to be released. Now they did say for the reveal of Operation Neon Dawn they will share new information soon so my best bet is uh, actually at the release of Operation Neon on dawn which is mid-december uh, they will also release the ps5 version of rainbow six siege which will then allow everyone who's on ps5 to upgrade for free and then we will be able to hit 120 frames per second uh, on online matches uh, whilst playing uh, with ps4 players so yeah we do actually have to wait until we can get this upgraded version of rainbow six siege but that does not mean that you can't enjoy what you've got right now because uh, you've got faster loading times obviously with the new cpu in the playstation 5 and everything uh, which is much stronger than the PlayStation 4's one. So you've still got the luxury of faster loading times and obviously you know you can go through your inventory faster, you can put your charms on faster and stuff like that. It's a lot more faster for menu wise, it's just that we are going to have to wait until we are able to get uh, an FPS increase uh, on online matchmaking, uh, ranked, unranked, casual, stuff like that. Now they did say that they are going to go like and make an in-depth you know detailed video about this for the next gen of consoles uh, version of Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, my best bet is that they're probably going to add a field of view um, slider for it um i don't see why not i think field of views in games and having to and allowing the user to change whatever field of view they want i feel that like it's a great option obviously for accessibility and everything and siege is becoming much more uh, accessibility friendly now you've got like uh, you can change the color of your icons uh, sorry for your reticles they're adding a text to siege mode for people who have hard hearing and stuff like that and a field of view thing is another thing kind of in that accessibility mode it does help people and personally 
Um, I, I love changing my field of view in video games. I've been playing Cold War a lot and I've been having my field of view up at 120 or 115 and it, it, it is so much better than having this, the locked field of view. So um, yeah, it's very cool. Uh, I hope that's something that they announce in the next gen versions of the game. But we are obviously going to have to wait until that comes out. The only thing that we know is 100% confirmed is it's going to support 4K and 120 frames per second. But that's all I really have for this video. I hope I did help you understand why maybe if you've logged into your PS5 for the first time, you're gone on Siege and you want to play some Siege and you're kind of wondering, you know, this kind of feels the same as my PS4. That is the reason why, is because we are still on the PS4 version of the game. We've just not received the PS5 free upgrade yet. And like I said, most likely that is going to be coming in Operation Neon Dawn's launch. Obviously, I have no insider information or anything like that. That is just pure speculation. But that is when they're probably most likely going to do it. But I am going to end this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Massive shout out to my members, PogChamp, RSA Biggie, Brian Neowell, David Yud, Aldoy900, Dennis Cool, Prestige. Hoarder, Ivan GT, Carson HKYT, Alonzo Martinez, Zerb1234, Movimento, and Zaliator Gaming. I actually also have a second channel now. Uh, it will be linked in the description and it's also on my homepage. And uh, yeah, I just upload other content on that. So, like COD and any other game, any game that isn't Siege and other content like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop it a like, dislike it if you did not. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. And I shall see you on the next video. Have a great day. Stay safe. Love you all. Well,